Hey guys, Mike from Norse Pythons here. In this episode, we're going to be going over the Xanthix gene. Alright, so Xanthic. Now, this is not a visual Xanthic. Both of my visuals are busy right now, and I was not going to disturb them, but he is had Xanthic, so I mean, it counts for something, right? <laughs> So this is my Super Pastel Double Hat Azanthic DG male. And I work with the TSK line. Now the making of this video, there are six confirmed lines right now. You got GCR, Jolif, Jolif, G, Jolif, I don't know how to pronounce that one. MJ, TSK, VPI, and Black Azanthic. Now the Xanthic gene, what does it do? It basically removes the yellow pigmentation of the snake and creates an all black and white snake, which look absolutely amazing. So why do I, so out of all those genes, why did I pick TSK? Well, because the person who got me into breeding ball pythons, uh, Shout out to Olympus Reptiles. They work with TSK Xanthic line. So it just made sense to me. You know, my favorite breeder. You know, I would love to get some of his line and uh, my collection. So, of course, I went the TSK route. Now, there's different lines because you can't go and put a VPI to a TSK Xanthic. They're separate lines. You can only do VPI to VPI, TSK to TSK, so on and so on. Now, I do have them ranked, but it is based on availability because you can't, it's hard to rank genes, especially exanthic genes based on appearance because all genes have really bad quality and really good quality. So there really is no middle ground on which one's the best, but you know, if I want, you know, TSK the best, you know, make sure you're reading TSK line. But how I got them ranked is from most available to least available. So coming in at number one is VPI. Now VPI, basically almost everybody that breeds, it's almost in every combo, every gene. I don't think there's a combo out there that they haven't already put VPI in. And then coming in at number two is TSK. Then you got MJ. And then goes Black Exanthic. Now, I can see uh, Black Exanthic um, moving up on the list here. Since uh, Justin from Canovo just released a video of the Black Exanthic. And, you know, a lot of people following his footsteps so you know whatever he's producing you know they want to produce too so i could see black exanthic making a jump up in the list then number five you got gcr now i've seen some of gcr stuff pretty good looking exanthic i follow this one guy on tiktok can't remember his name but he just produced a clutch of gcr pides amazing looking i I comment. I was like, bro, that is what a Xanthic Pied should look like. And yeah, GCR Pied's amazing. And then at number six, you got Joel Jolliffe. Jolliffe. I will never be able to pronounce that right. I don't know how you pronounce it. My bad. No shame on them. It's just, that's a Jolliffe. 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 Jolifi. I have no clue. But yeah, Azanthic, black and white snake. Absolutely love the project. That's basically what I'm basing all my projects on is Azanthic. Like right now, him, he's going to be the start of my Azanthic DG project. I mean, if you haven't seen what an Azanthic DG looks like, I highly recommend going and looking that up because those are amazing looking snakes. And then right along with the uh, Xanthic Pides, 
again amazing looking snakes so yeah guys that's basically it on uh azanthic and why i work with it because you know black and white snakes who wouldn't want that all right guys see you in the next one